G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright, so today we're playing a bit more Space Engineers and what I thought I'd show you today is uh, how to upload a blueprint. Now, when I upload blueprints all the time I get this um, error that says failed to publish on Steam Workshop. So what I'll do now is I'll actually demonstrate the error for you. So we'll go into here and we'll have a look at a blueprint that I've made for this welding truck that sits behind me. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to try and publish it. So we'll go yes, it is a rover, okay. <coughs> and as you can see it says failed to publish on Steam Workshop. Now the reason why this keeps coming up for me is because the image um, that it uses for the thumbnail seems to be too big to upload to Steam. So what I'm going to show you now is how to actually get to that image and then how to change the size of it so that you can then upload it to Steam. So we'll exit out of the game and we'll go back to Windows. And basically what you want to do is you want to navigate to C, Users, um, your username that you log into the computer with, uh, then App Data, Roaming, Space Engineers, Blueprints, and then Local. So once you get into that folder, you'll find all of your blueprints here, right? So you can see here that we have the Groundhog World Truck. And if we go into this folder, we can see that we have a PNG file here. Now this is our thumbnail. And as you can see, the size of this file is 1,368 kilobytes. So it's 1.4 megabytes roughly. So we need to reduce the size of this to under a megabyte. So what I'm going to do is going to cut this file out of this folder. <coughs> and I've created another folder on my desktop which I have here and this is for all my thumb backups um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new folder inside here and we're just going to name it the groundhog and then we'll paste our image in and then from here so what we've done is we've removed the file from the blueprints folder itself like the actual game files and then we've pasted it into, it doesn't need to be on your desktop, it can be anywhere. Just paste it into another location. So then what we want to do is right click on it and go open with and then we want to select paint. Now this opens up the image and so what we want to do is we obviously want to reduce the size of it. So one way to do that is to, you can crop it so you can, but we don't have that option available to us. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the image. So just what what you want to do is you don't want to just um, you know put in here five percent or something like that. You you want to keep the image um, as large as possible, but also under a megabyte. So you want to keep it like really on the edge um, because if you reduce the image size too much then the thumbnail quality is going to go, um, you know, not very good and it's going to be really hard to see the image. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to choose about 80% of the original image size. I'm going to go OK. And then I'm going to go File, Save As, <coughs> Select PNG. And then basically we're going to choose our Thumb Backups folder, Groundhog. And I'm going to save it in here and I'm going to call it Thumb 2. And then if we go back into that folder, <coughs> we can see that the image size is reduced by about, you know, 300 kilobytes. So we just need to reduce it just a tiny bit more to get it under a megabyte. So we'll go back in here and as you can see at the top here, it's Thumb 2 is still selected. So we'll resize it again. And we'll select something like 97% and we'll go OK. And then we will go File, Save As, PNG and we will call it Thumb 3. And we'll save that. 
Then we'll go back into our Groundhog 3 folder. Oh, not quite enough. All right, so we'll resize it again to 97 again. File, save as, PNG, um, 4, save. That should be enough now, I think. <coughs> yeah, cool. So now you can see that the image size is now 970 kilobytes. So, now what we want to do is we want to grab this resized version of the image called Thumb 4. Um, you know, you might be up to Thumb 10, depending on you know your initial starting resolution. Um, and we want to copy that. We want to go into the game files, the blueprints folder that I discussed before. We want to paste it in here. And then we want to make sure we remove the 4 and change its name back to Thumb. Right, cool, so that's done now. So now what we want to do is start our Space Engineers. <coughs> and let's upload the blueprint to the workshop. All right, we're back in game and it's finally decided to load. So now let's have a look at our blueprints menu. So let's select F10, go into our blueprints, and we'll have a look for the Groundhog Weld Truck. We'll select it again. We'll select Publish again. And you can see that the size of this um, blueprint has changed. Before it used to be 1.6 megabytes and now it's 1.1. So now we want to go Publish. We select yes, rover, okay. Awesome. So there you go. We can see now that it's been published to the workshop and now you can go in and do all the things you want to do, you know, set up a description, add pictures. Now when you, when you upload a blueprint I strongly suggest that you add um, a lot of pictures. I think if you just create one thumbnail it's it's really hard for people to gauge um, you know the size and the shape of something and um, you know whether it's going to work for them or, or not. So when I build something and upload it to the workshop I try and you know create as many pictures as I can of what I'm uploading. So in the next video, what I'm going to show you is um, how to actually change the thumbnail of um, a blueprint that you've already put onto the workshop. Um, so, you know, let's say you decide that the image is really, you know, not a good angle or the lighting's bad or, you know, you cropped it wrong or something like that. You know, you can go in and change the image that's actually in the Steam Workshop as well. So I'll show you that in the next video, but I hope this video was helpful to you and um, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel and um, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.